as most of you know, an important characteristic of Kairos is being software-based, and we already explained this concept many times. So today, let's keep theory and focus on functionalities and on the amazing result that can be expected from Kairos. Let's start by having a look to the impressive list of new features offered by KC200 and KC2000 and software version 1.5. Let's focus for now on some of the main ones. RAM record and steel grab, 2.5D DVE, touch control, macro editor, and object multi-selection. Even if production teams deliver a greater number of graphics via file support, it is still important to be able to record some video material directly from sources. With Kairos' new software version, it is now possible not only to grab a still, but also to record a live video. No external app to open, no complex function. Just go to the still or RAM menus, right-click, and choose which source you want to capture. It starts instantly and is recorded to the hard disk, so no way to lose it if you load another production or even reboot your device. Once recorded, it becomes a regular steel or RAM content you can use as any other. You want to export? No problem. Right-click again and send it, for instance, to a USB key connected to your creator PC. You can forget the super complex old-fashioned processes. Today, graphical tendency is more to flat boxes. But some of you may remember the time when windows were flying and rotating with crazy curves. As fashion is often a cycle, I would bet it will come back. It is now easily implanted in Kairos by simply validating the new 2.5D option in the transform menu. X, Y, and Z rotation are directly available. You can also position the rotation axis in the free direction. And by carefully using Z position, the priorities between the different layers are automatically managed. The only thing you should do is checking that box. I often say power is nothing without control. And we know one doesn't fit all. That's why we now offer a new control surface the Touch Control app. This is a simple app you can install on any PC connected on Kairos Control Network. It receives one of the multiviewer streams generated in the core and adds function onto each of the boxes. The most obvious thing is to cut the source onto the program main bus, allowing one to direct a show from a touch screen, including from a wireless tablet. But that's not all left and right part of the boxes can receive different functions, like selecting on preset and program, or perform a cut on one side and a mix on the other. The main window of the app can also be reduced to display a series of 92 programmable buttons. Those buttons can receive many different functions, like cross-point control, transitions, and of course macros, allowing to trigger extremely sophisticated effect by simply touching the screen. Our macro editor is certainly the most powerful on the market. It uses a simple scripting language, LUA, allowing loops, condition, variables. But some of the users complain about being obliged to remember the syntax when adding new commands. That's why this new button has been added. It allows you to choose which function you want to insert in an existing macro. For instance, selecting camera one on the preset bus of the main scene, or triggering a replay wipe transition into a multi-box compositing. Plus, macro editing window is now independent from the creator one. Therefore, you can navigate into your creator without the need of closing opening the macro editor. Even better, multiple macros can be edited in parallel, in different tabs, meaning you can easily copy-paste between them. This one may sound as a detail for some, but some users will appreciate it, I'm sure. In most of the GUI menus, you can now select multiple objects to copy, cut, 
or add to source option list. The regular Windows-like Shift and Control options apply, and the order of the selection is remembered. For instance, in the source option, you can select cameras 1, 2, 10, 5, and 3, and they will be added in that order to the source list. Creator was already very fast to use. It becomes even more. You want more? I got more. Panel presets. You can create up to 12 panel presets and record them through macros, allowing you to easily change your panel assignments several times in a show, just depending on your needs. Log files are even richer, allowing a perfect monitoring of what happens in your system. I definitely cannot name them all, but regular users will discover plenty of additional small improvements. They are mostly based on feedback from our customers that we collect when visiting you during demos and trainings. And that's the most important for us, building a tool fitting your needs. We'll soon be back with tutorial explaining in detail some of those new features. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.